the Yoko watch crossover is back, so there's still maybe some time to unlock some of the minions. Uh, everybody can start the quest once they have the airship, and you can start the quest at that location. Uh, that's 9291 in the older steps. Uh, that's all the steps of uh, Nald. Um, chat to the poor healed youth that is sitting on the steps just where our heroine Cookies McSchnitzel is dancing. Right here, that one, that one sat down. Been playing for a while, you've probably had everything unlocked, like just like I do, but I will um, describe uh, how to get there uh, briefly if you do not. Um, all you have to do now is go to the um, golden saucer and uh, uh, do the next step. If from older, you might have actually been able to get the quest from the NPC before you are able to do any of the necessary uh, further steps. It's really not too far up on uh, uh, on the story-wise. Um, it will literally lead you to it. You will get a ship if you're from uh, anywhere else but Olda. You will be having to go to Olda, therefore able to actually get uh, the quest. So if you haven't got the, uh, the airship pass, please go and get one. You can come back to this video. You've made your way to the Golden Saucer, you can now go to where all the quest counters are and the next quest person is just on the left, the quest NPC is just on the left at the bottom and you'll see here uh, in uh, this uh, walkthrough where you need to go. you know, talk to him, go through all the dialogues, etc, etc. Once again, this is why you need an airship pass. If you have played the game for a while, you probably will have been to Ben Branch Meadows before. Uh, also, if you are from Gridania, you are probably will have been to Ben Branch Meadows before. If you're neither of those things, fear not, it's literally outside Blue Badger Gate in uh, outside New Gridania. Just outside there, the first Ether Right Camp is uh, where you need to go. Once you've made your way to the branch, uh, there is one NPC you need to talk right here, right in front of here. Then there is uh, one by the Chocobo stables and one by uh, the vendor near the Chocobo stables, as you can see in this walkthrough right here, I'll get lost a little bit, but I'll get there. When you've talked to both of these NPCs, then you can make your way to the tree. Yes, there are a lot of trees in Gridania, so I'll be more specific. It's the Guardian Tree, which um, if you follow this walkthrough, you will find, but it's just around the corner. Uh, it's not highlighted in the map when you first discover it. It's uh, a bit behind. I've already discovered it before, so you can see it here. Oh yes, so it's just, um, it's just around there. It's a bit of a distance, not too far. Once you're there, I would suggest you get comfortable and enjoy a nice uh, yokai watch cutscene.
Once you're at your cutscene, all there is left to do is to make your way back to the Golden Saucer, enjoy another cutscene, and um, start collecting. You simply have to go back to the quest counter and run the side where that NPC was before, uh, just like before. Like I said, enjoy the cutscene and enjoy the collection. Please consider liking this video, subscribing, hitting the bell, all those good things before you go and enjoy this cutscene. Congratulations, you've unlocked the Yokai Watch. I have no idea how it really works quite yet, since I've just unlocked it myself on both characters. But you now have a collection thing, which I'm sure it will fill up once you start collecting medals. I mean, it's a f you have to do fates, as far as I know. 